Hi there, I'm Samantha Blodell. I'm an Aura Intuitive Reiki Master Teacher and Spiritual Mentor. And if you're looking for tips and tools on how to tap into the wisdom in your aura, make sure you subscribe now. The first color we're going to go over is glowing gold. So glowing gold is always when we're being guided by our higher self. Um, it's a sign of enlightenment, usually someone who either is going through it or is tapping into the highest frequency spiritual energy. Um, it, a lot of glow, a lot of leaders, spiritual leaders, um, like Dalai Lama, <laughs> tend to have this glowing gold around them. And because it's such a high frequency, this is a color that a lot of people that have told me over the years, they'll be watching a speaker talk and that's the color they see because it's very inspiring, bringing that, that highest spiritual energy into it. A bright metallic gold. Yes, this is a symbol of wealth and success. Bright metallic gold has a lot to do with sometimes if you have too much gold, it actually taps into the ego. And so it's very ego based energy. People that really love gold and have gold everywhere in their home tend to think um, less spiritually and more ego from the ego base. So that's, that color is a positive, but can be a negative. <laughs> so the third color is rose gold. And so rose gold is our true spirit essence color. So a lot of times that's why all babies, there's something about a glow around them. Everybody wants to play with them and, and it's their energy. Um, it's that, that wonderful spirit energy because there again, they're new to this world. They still have that spirit energy. But also, this color can be used to harmonize the spiritual and physical planes of yourself. Like if you're feeling off, like you're not really, if you're too grounded or you're, you're kind of flighty and too much in the air, you can use rose gold to kind of balance yourself out. So the fourth shade of gold that we're going to go over is anti-gold and anti-gold is like the Egyptian museum you see all the the King Tut mask and a lot of the bowls and everything have this interesting a little bit darker glow to them than you would the metallic gold of now so it usually has this patina about it that creates um, this glow from within. So this gold, as you can imagine, has everything to do with tapping into ancient wisdom. What is your, your you know, what is your incarnations, the wisdom from uh, the times you've been in other lives here. And then also just all this energy of tapping into times before. A lot of people don't understand who they are or don't don't really know on a spiritual level who they are and so this really activates that uh, allowing you to kind of get in there and dive deep and really dig up the wisdom that you need the fifth color that we're going to go over is golden wheat and golden wheat is usually that's a sign that you're introvert. Um, it's about longevity, but also along with that means the fact that you tend to be very methodical and you don't, you're not quick to do things. You really take your time to decide on what you need to do. Gold that also has a purple band. And so what this does, this and first of all, you can use this to enhance your intuition, but it also um, is problem solving. It helps you to take action. It's really um, uh, kind of a gold that 
inspires you to take action on your goals, inspires you to tap in to your intuition and allow your intuition to give you information and discernment. Dark, muddy gold. What this is about is when you have a lot of stress and fatigue because you're so attached to an emotion and you're not letting it go. And so usually this is when you're really obsessing over somebody. A lot of obsessive compulsive people tend to have this darker kind of muddy gold. It's gold that also has a black band. So black, the, whenever I see this black band, black tends to be with this gold, tends to be a protective energy, um, a, a holding space for someone energy. And so this has a lot to do with helping with removing self-limiting beliefs. When you're feeling really kind of bad about yourself, you can also imagine this coming into your aura and it will cheer you up. It'll kind of clear out and hold space for you to process through why you feel that way about yourself. Shade of gold is white gold. So white gold is really good for willpower. Um, if you need to kind of be stronger about something and really stick to it, um, it's amazing for concentration. If you feel like you can't focus, um, imagine bringing white gold into your aura and it will help you re redefine where, which way you need to go. Those are the shades of gold. Obviously, no list is ever complete. There may be more shades of gold, and this kind of gives you a guideline, an overview of gold in your aura. Gold is obviously a very powerful color, so it is important to know that, like I said at the beginning, that it can raise your vibration, it neutralizes very strong energy, and then it really is about clearing your aura. So um, just even breathing in, sitting there for 10 minutes, just like when you would do a meditation where you're just imagining your lungs filling with gold and then it's spreading throughout the rest of your body will definitely release a lot of energy and make you feel really great because it's raising your vibration. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and, and share with family and friends and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.